Hey, Fruit Bats, it's really Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. Welcome to another week of videos. And today's video is on Ariana Grande. I don't actually follow her closely at all, but I found out recently that she has been vegan for one year and I was so happy about that. So I did a little bit of searching and I found that she wrote this status update about a year ago now. I've eaten organically since I was little and always kept meat minimal, but today marks my first day as a 100% vegan joyous day. And that is fantastic. You know, she's got such a huge following that she has so much potential to change entire generations way of eating and living. So of course I was super happy to hear this and to have her on Team Plants. So I went to her Facebook and she did an update on November the 6th, one year of plant-based eating, happiest, healthiest, best, most life-changing decision I ever made. Look into it and save some cute little innocent lives. How cool is that? What a fantastic status update. And of course, I wanted her to say vegan, not plant-based, but it's good that she's even saying that. She's probably feeling a bit intimidated because then you go to the comments and you get the standard ones. I read this while eating bacon. Yeah, so as expected, the meat munching zombies come out in force and they leave those comments that us vegans have never, ever heard before. They're really original, like, mmm, bacon, but bacon. Plants are living, breathing organisms. We shouldn't kill them either. So I think we should all be on the water and air diet for maximum hippiness. Lol, you can't save their lives when you eat their food. (sighs) Such valid arguments from the peanut gallery. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about showing her weight loss results on a vegan diet. And she was not by no means carrying a lot of fat before. Here are her before photos, but she has definitely changed. Her body has definitely changed since being on a vegan diet. So let's have a look. This is her before and let's check out some of her after photos. So she's on the left there. That's her before, before, and her legs are noticeably a lot slimmer and on the rest of her body as well. And as you can see, Ariana is only a petite woman. She's only about five foot and she has such a small bone structure. So she's designed to be really quite small. And when she gains weight, it's gonna be noticeable on her tiny frame. And I've seen people accuse her of being anorexic and having eating disorders and all of this stuff. And like I said before, you know, people have to remember she is petite. She is very small boned. She's like Asian kind of small boned. So she's designed to be small and she looks great to me. This isn't the body of someone who is anorexic. She looks healthy, she looks vibrant. And as she said, she is feeling awesome on the vegan diet. And I can totally relate. After eight years on a vegan lifestyle, it rocks. So my only hope is that she stays carved up, she eats enough and she learns about the ethical side of a vegan lifestyle because that is so, so important to staying on track long term. So in other news, I went to the most amazing vegan festival yesterday in Adelaide. It was incredible. It was so much fun. And I had so many fruit bats coming up to me like minute after minute, introducing themselves, telling me their story, giving me a hug. And I loved it. I really just felt so grateful to be in the position I am and to be able to help so many girls in particular who have had an eating disorder or have an eating disorder, have weight issues, have depression and be able to help them out of that just through my videos, just through me making these videos. And like I said to a number of you yesterday, it's it keeps me going having you come up to me and tell me your story because I'm basically a hermit. I'm at home in my bedroom. I'm making my videos. It's just me and the camera and it's nobody else. So I don't really get that feedback. Even though I get the feedback in the comments, it's just so different to have have you come up to me and say, you know, thank you so much and you've changed my life and that just keeps me strong. That really keeps me going as well. So thank you. And if you see me out in the street or at a festival or wherever, please don't be afraid to come up to me because I'm just a girl next door. I would love to meet you. I'd love to give you a big hug. So definitely next time you see me, come and say hi. Okay, fruit bats. So don't forget to go fruit or root yourself and I will see you tomorrow.